क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव टू आर्क्स ऑफ सेम लेंथ सब्टेंट एंगल्स ऑफ 60 डिग्री एंड 75 डिग्री एट द सेंटर ऑफ टू सर्कल्स सो दिस इज द सर्कल दिस इज अनदर सर्कल सो दे सब्टेंट इक्वल द आर्क्स आर इक्वल सो दिस is equal to this hmm like this two arcs of same length subtend angles of 60 degree and 75 degree this would be 60 degree hmm. this would be 75 degrees hmm the lengths are equal the radii are different i assume them are one and another any doubt in here no now i always suggest to all my students to always draw figures most of the students don't follow my advice few do and for example in question like this why you need to draw a figure so that the person who is checking the answers can make out that what is the radius So 60 degree uh, R1 belongs to that 60 degrees part, and R2 belongs to that 75 degree part. Have you understood what I have said? Yeah. So the examiner understands that you understand the question well. Otherwise, if you say R1, R2, then you know it becomes difficult to understand to yourself also. That mm-hmm. after what are they? Big circle, small circle, small circle, small circle. You won't be able mm-hmm. to understand. Yeah. So it is always suggested just draw a rough figure. I am not saying that you take a compass and you know you draw a full figure and pura tam jam karne ki zarurat nahi hai. Just draw mm-hmm. a rough figure so that the examiner understands ki what you are doing. Any doubt till here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And of course, the probability of this kind of question coming in MCQ is more. Okay. But in theory, if it comes, then you draw a figure and you know show the examiner that you have understood the question. So again. Mm-hmm. This won't uh, work in degrees. So pi radians is equal to 180 degree, and uh, uh, 60 degrees would be equal to pi by 3 radians. This would be pi by 3 radians, hmm. and so uh, this would be. This would be one degree is equal to pi by one eighty, and seventy five degrees would be pi on one eighty into seventy five. And if I am able to do pi one the pi five the pi three the pi six the three one the twelve three five the So this would be five pi by twelve radians. Okay. Am I clear? Are we okay till here? Yeah. Now here, five pi by twelve is equal to L by R two. Here, pi by three is equal to L by R one. Am I clear? Are we clear till here? Yeah. Okay. Are my Calculations correct? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So now all that I need to do is just divide these two. So five pi by twelve into three by pi is equal to L by R two into R one by L. Any doubt in there? No. And then you see all the things happening automatically. The pi and pi will cancel. The l and l will cancel. Three, four, the so five by four is equal to r one by r two. So this is the ratio that you will get. Any doubt? No. Now the point is, this is the point that I was trying to tell you that the examiner, when he sees this r one by r two is equal to pi by four, he understands, looking at your figure, that r one is the bigger circle. R two is the smaller circle. 
have mm-hmm. you should have said yeah so that is why it always helps to make a figure yeah any doubt no